dear viewers <coughs> today i am going to discuss a very important topic uh, regarding related to the field of civil engineering and this is the basic points which i am going to explain you these are the basic points if an engineer have lack of experience and he doesn't know the drawing and he cannot explain these lines that what are this what are these lines draw for so these lines are actually drafting drafting is the field of engineering in which an architect or draftsman explain their views not in word but in different lines so this is one of my mega project and i am supervising this this project this project is one package and the total estimated cost of this package is 230 million project these are this this plan is the ground floor plan and this is first floor plan ground floor plan here here you are seeing that this is 0 dash 0 inches this is the this is the level this is the level this is the level 0 dash 0 and <coughs> you are seeing this here they write that this level is 2 feet 0 inches this means that that here are some steps where the differential level of these steps is this level is 0 feet 0 inches and this level is 2 feet 0 inches so this is the entrance and there here is four to three steps because of the difference on level now we proceed further this is the entrance of this building entrance this is the main gate and this area is entrance lobby entrance lobby here 15 feet <coughs> wide here this is here is uh, here is mentioned that 15 feet wide lobby it's mean that the thickness of these boundary walls or the thickness of these internal walls sorry the thickness of these walls are included in this 15 feet this is the principal office left side this is the clerk office this is the students entrance students students will be enter from this side this side and this side so office offices 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 and uh, classrooms here one thing i want to explain principal office <coughs> having dimension of 20 feet into 16 feet 20 feet mean the horizontal this distance and 20 feet and the 16 feet is the vertical distance so this is the dimensional plan this is the ground floor plan here is the complete the complete ground floor plan department of uh, refrigeration workshops there is two workshops here 
30 feet wide main main lobby this is the main lobby which is 30 feet wide wide mean including this wall and including this wall this is 30 feet wide so this is the ground floor plan <coughs> and the same is the first floor first floor plan the entrance lobby principal office and the clerk office <coughs> on first floor this is open terrace open terrace this area will be open terrace and library drafting hall classrooms workshop department of surveying lab so <coughs> this is the mounty this is the staircase so this building is only for only two stories ground plus one means ground floor plus first floor this is the this is the floor plan drawings if one thing i want to explain that here is the grid grid lines grid lines one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and here is also the grid line it is denoted by a b c d e f g h i this shows us the number of beams the number of columns and the number of footings so the designer or the structure engineer draw this for calculating for separating different types of columns different types of beams different types of footing so we will explain inshallah in <coughs> further more videos here i want to just explain the front elevation of this floor ground floor plan and first floor plan this is the front elevation this is the front elevation of the of the building front elevation of the building is i told you that this was the entrance lobby and i told you that there will be some stiff steps involved due to which this level is zero feet zero inches and this will be two feet zero inches here <coughs> here i want to enlarge the f f f f l finish floor level will be two feet zero inches and this is the ground floor which is which is n s l natural surface level is zero feet zero inches <coughs> zero feet zero inches this is the cell level this is the cell level which is four feet four feet cell level means the window will be the window bottom window window will be started from four feet up to its height up to its height this is the lentil level lentil level which is 10 feet this is the floor beam which is 13 feet this is elevation which is 14 feet so this is the this is the tracing trace level which is 17 feet this is the floor beam which is again so 
from this from this elevation top this and up to this this is the first floor and from this up to this FFL this is ground floor so this is the front elevation this is the front elevation and this is the side elevation side elevation is also the same heights same heights so these are the same levels so the surveyor <coughs> when the building is when the and when the construction work on the building has been started so the surveyor the surveyor will check thoroughly these levels every day because of because of avoiding any errors or any construction defects so this is the front this is the front lobby here this is the front lobby here is one window his side and one window this side as you see there one window this side this is the section one windows and one window and at the top at the top here is the one main window main one window and one window this and this is the one window two sided windows and two windows are here two windows are here so this is the plan i discuss in detail and this is the elevation of that plan which i already discuss the different steps uh, different measurements are already <coughs> right already written here so okay thank you for watching video